I don't know if I've ever really 100% said it in my videos, but life on Mineral Springs Mountain is a challenge because it's kind of a wild place. Uh, my wife says that. It, it, it's just like an Appalachian top of a, of a mountain, a small mountain that has, it, it's just rough. The, 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 it's rooty, it's rocky, but it's still in the south. Stuff likes to grow, it likes to grow fast. <laughs> And, and it just grows out of control. And so it's a challenge living up here. Um, so I do these videos, but just to kind of document the, the taming of the yard, <laughs> making something kind of pretty and kind of cool out of something that's kind of hard to do, uh, just because of the location where it is. Um, but one of the things that's definitely got to change are, are these bushes. When I first moved to this house, these bushes were tiny. I mean, well, tiny, I say they were, Right now, as they are, they're about, this one's about five and a half feet tall. So I'm standing here, you know, six foot two, and you can see if I hold it about level, it's, it's about, it's over five feet. And uh, so these, these bushes are pretty though, but they were so small, they're a good probably seven feet wide. Now I'm talking about this direction. And uh, they were maybe a foot and a half wide and, and maybe, uh, two feet tall when i first moved here these bushes which are are pretty and, and here again i don't know the names of all these bushes these are expensive bushes to go buy them but they're dying you can see they're just they're just this is dying and this is pretty dang big now again these are all small we got rose of sharon over there it's kind of that's, that's the thing sticking up kind of tall there nikki loves it probably this bush needs to go too all of whatever these hedge type things are, but I'm gonna cut all this out today. We're gonna to mulch. I gotta make decisions as to what we're gonna put there. We've talked about putting the fig close to the house. Uh, we've got a place over here where we, Nikki bought three figs. So I would like to plant them, I love figs. One of my favorite plants in our whole garden. There's stuff laying around, I just gotta start doing some picking up folks. I'm trying, trying, trying. Is that fig tree right there. And that thing is just been marvelous. You see it starting to come out. And so this side of the house, figs love living here. This one is about eight feet tall now, if we go to the very tip top. And it produces fantastic figs. So it's a big fig, big fig. So I'm gonna, my job today, among other things, I'm gonna clean some stuff up. This is an old base for a hammock that we didn't like. I'm gonna get rid of it today. These are some solar lights that Nikki was gonna do something to and they left them laying here. <laughs> We're gonna get that up. Uh, I gotta mow. We're probably gonna mulch around these, uh, these blueberry bushes. So I gotta try to transform this. I mowed last week and it doesn't take a week for everything to get raggedy looking out here. It, it, it's not a turf kind of yard. People have tried to do that. I can see that people that have lived up here before me tried to make it, tried to put turf and stuff down. It just doesn't do well up here. Uh, it's, it's too cold for one thing. It's almost a waste of time to do that. So you're gonna have just native kind of grasses. I could do some things to improve it, but that's not my, my deal. I don't really try to improve on nature. I let nature kind of do its thing. I just try to control it. Not improve it, but control it. So we're gonna dig all this out, cut all this out. It's gonna be a massive job, honestly. I'm gonna try to shake this up. This area over here where last week I dug out a bunch of, of, of these same bushes. I cut them, they're down there on the burn pile beyond that uh, bush. These are the root balls. I'd love to get the dirt out of them. Might spray them with a hose, see if I can get that out. It's a very overcast, foggy day. Perfect day to be working outside, honestly. Nikki wants me to get that rose out. Probably one or two of the figs will be parked over here uh, somewhere. And we're gonna figure that out. I may trim up these bushes. I think the cypress that's grown beside the house probably needs to come down. So I'm doing all that today. Here we go, let's get started. So listen, I really don't get paid to ever do product endorsements, although I do endorse certain products. I do sh share with people things I like. This is one of the simplest things I'm gonna share with you. This is a, it's a company called Hand Crew. You can get these at these gloves at uh, Lowe's. And of course, everybody's seen these kind of gloves it's got rubber on them. I've been using them for, for decades. 
Uh, so I, I, I like very tactile things. I can grab stuff and, and, and use my fingers really well. But I swear these things feel the best. They're just knitted so cool. So nobody's paying me. Nobody sent me these things for free. I bought them at Lowe's and they were super cheap. I think they were like five or six bucks. So I'm gonna go back and buy me three or four more pairs before they get gone. That, they, these are just like the, just, just the way that they flex and everything. It's just like the best. It's, 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 I dig them. <laughs> that stuff out before I can even get down there to try to and sort of start to dig the uh, root balls out. Those root balls are huge. Uh, golly Moses, that's going to be a job. See, I had to just cut, cut, cut to get even where I could see the cut. I couldn't cut down low until I cut up high just to get the feet inside of the house. You see, I still have much to do with this one bush here. It's another bush over there. So I'm going to have to actually go in and trim I'll swear the undergrowth out with some hedge clippers so I can even get a shovel in there and start to dig. Okay, so my question to myself right now is do I even dare to try to take these root balls out with this thing? I mean, will I kill myself trying? Right? These things are big, I want you to see. So I don't know. I guess start with this one. The thing is the roots are so intertwined I, I just don't know, they're, they're so close. I don't know if I just need to cut them off the ground. This is that root slayer thing that uh, my buddy Jamie Griffin let me borrow. It has the serrated edges on it. I did a video about it. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna set up a time lapse and just see if I can, if, if, if I can do anything with this. I'd love to be able to get those things out of the ground and then make that ground something I can use to plant. So let's give it a shot. We'll sit at the time I'm gonna need some help. I cannot get that out of the ground. My guard tracks can pull it to the old toy belt. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if that chains it out. I just got to see what in the devil was holding that in the ground. There was some brutal roots in that. Folks, that's, that's how my hand looks there. That's how big and bad that root ball. Holy crap. Root Slayer tried. If I tell you what, if I hadn't done Root Slayer, there's no way I could have pulled it out of the ground with that, with that mower. That is deep and that was brutal. And I've got four more of them to go. It's starting to rain. 
So I may not be able to get any of this finished up. What a crater that made. <sighs> Gee whiz, who thought these things? That is something else, buddy. So I re it all around to the point where I couldn't get up under it. And this stuff here in the gray bottom is what was holding it. That's what I couldn't cut loose. I could not break it anyhow anyway. And that worked well enough. It's not a really stout chain. I imagine it's rated a couple hundred pounds. It's not very big. But it got the job done. That's all I had. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I had some S hooks there to uh, hook to the back of the uh, toy built hydrostatic. It's been a good one, my friends. I need to wash it up. Wow, so before the rain kicks, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can get one more out of the ground. Nikki actually brought me some breakfast while I've been out here working. This is awesome. I've got sausage and egg. Or is that is that egg? Yeah, it's egg whites. Egg whites. Yeah, I gotta eat my egg whites. And I got Brussels sprouts with a little bit of butter sauce. Awesome. This is great. Oh mercy, what a mess. Well, the rain has hit and it's not raining exactly right now, but I think it's gonna be on again, off again for the rest of the day. So that was all I got done. I have done some whacking and all around this one. It's gonna be the worst one, I think. And it's right up against this other one, which makes it really hard. I think I will be able to get enough of, <laughs> of the root ball cut loose from that one to do the same sort of thing we did here. So I've kind of put the uh, tools up against the, I mean, if it gets really where I think it's gonna be zero rain, I'll come back out here and work some more. But uh, right now it's a little bit messy. The rain did let up for a bit. I didn't quit. And I got this one out of the ground without having to use the uh, the toy belt. But I did use the mattock a good bit on it. There were some stubborn roots going straight down. So that's the old fashioned tool that I used to use to get them out. I have to say, that's very, help that's very helpful. It helps you define the uh, edges of, of what you're going to be digging out and then it cuts them very efficiently but yes yeah, so for stuff this big and yeah you know, for small plants that's going to be an awesome tool honestly i'm putting it through the paces that it shouldn't have to go through i'm giving it like honestly probably 300 percent the work it should be doing but that's two down that's gonna be a brutal one. These other two don't look like they'll be too bad, but I, I doubt it. I, I bet they'll be just as hard as the others. Goodness gracious, this is some work. Yep, I need a tractor. I need a tractor and, uh, and a chain that'll at least handle 500 pounds of torque. And uh, I can just pull these things out of the ground. That's crazy. That I'm doing this, but it is good exercise. I mean, you can tell I'm getting a killer workout here. It's a butt kicker. Uh, 57 years old. My dad used to have me do crap like this all the time. I've, it's just unbelievable. The fences I've done, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of bales of hay that I've thrown back when it used to be bales. You had to pick them up, dad, a bale and about 60, 70 pounds a piece, sometimes heavier might go out and throw 1200 bales of hay on the back of trucks and then go throw them up into the lofts of barns or trucks or, or trailers and then throw them into barns go back do it all over again it did make me very stout and uh, became captain of the football team and got a scholarship to go to mars hill so all those things paid off i mean that's that's a cool thing 
but it was not a fun youth that <laughs> did teach me to work hard though so those easier things i do now at the desk seem like nothing seem like nothing at all well i guess i could try to do one more ball see if the rain holds off it's just on again off again let's try it